is the part third of the sigma web element series and in this part i will teach you attributes yes guys we have tags in the html but we have attributes and content these three things will join then our html code will done and we will learn content and tags but what is attribute after attributes the html world will not completed and we cannot unlock that so guys let's get the key to unlock that and now i will teach you attributes in this video and before two videos i will teach you what is the h1 and paragraph and div tag so guys i will teach you pr tag also but in this video i will give you the attributes and i will use attributes only two type that will common in all things first is id and second is class from these both thing will make the html code so faster and so clear and after this the html world is so strong and we can join this to the csl and javascript so easily we can connect that between it then our ribbon will be completed so guys let's go start it and my name is siman it says you are watching code with siman so let's get started so guys as you are seeing here i am the windows and now i will change my text and write i will write here this is a paragraph and now let's go live and i will change the things here now and you can know what is this because you will already learn this our server is starting and i will add it on sivas world and this is a paragraph that you are seeing here add one two times bo three times and guys i want to make my port all you like looking so what i will do i will write here h1 and i write welcome then my name is sivans we are copy paste and this is the one dev like and now guys i will explain you here my name is sivans in the h1 i write this h2 not guys two i write here three and let's uh, i am a web developer let's see it will looking like this so guys as you are seeing here dev h1 and h3 guys these all are here so our next line is my favorite programming language is not python java is great because we can struct this so easily so now this and framework is react is right now you can see these things here and now how we will struct this and we can access this we have two class attributes class and id now in the css what we will do we will use id and class to fetch that but if we want a particular container so what we will do we will say that container to give that styles but guys if we want many container so we will use our same class 
and that we will give to all containers so that will in the box that we can open and add some more things that it that will apply on all things okay guys now let's see like class container means if in the css i will say container to do these styles so it will work on all containers but in the main i will say main id so it will only apply on this because the id will not save in all cases but class will save in all types okay guys so as you know now here and we will write attributes in the starting tag this is the static tab where we will not use this slash and in the static like here this list in bracket i will write here space and then i will write the class and then id and guys id will not same so let's write here main and we will contain these things by here as you go now we will use these both thing and we will start let later because we wrote to css but guys you will know the attributes now so let's see you in the next video because i will give you that all things that i am using here class attributes now this is the two common thing where we will use these all where if we can okay guys so bye this is for this video so guys this is for this video and as you know here i will teach you class and id attribute starting to ending and if you was this video starting to ending without skipping any part then i am 100% guaranteed you will know attributes and how to use that and what is the closing name and what is the starting name now you will know so guys this is for this video and i will explain you other things in the next video so guys wait for that time and i will explain you so guys bye this is for this video now i am quitting the video